And thank you. Now to a GMA parent alert. Chances are you think praising your child is a good thing. It improves their self-esteem, helps them do better in school. Well, according to the latest research, you may be wrong. A New York Magazine cover story alerted us to the striking finding. Praising your child may actually be harmful. Here's parenting contributor Anne Flechette Murphy. I think if they deserve the praise, that the parent definitely should give it. I don't think you can praise your children enough. And I think it's really important. I mean, I try and do it all the time when she does something new. If you're like these parents, you offer praise to your kids thinking it's the key to their success. But according to a new study by psychologist Carol Dweck, praise may actually do more harm than good. Contrary to popular belief, praising children's intelligence did not give them confidence and did not make them learn better. For decades, parents and educators have been told that flattering words can boost a child's self-esteem and performance. Yet Dweck, who wrote a book about the subject, says a child's performance can actually worsen if they're constantly told how smart they are. Praise can even cause their grades to go down. Parents should take away the fact that they are not giving their children a gift when they tell them how brilliant and talented they are. They're making them believe they are valued only for being intelligent. And it makes them not want to learn. The key? Be specific about the praise you give. Parents should praise children for their effort, their concentration, their strategies. Dweck advises when your child comes home with an A on an exam, don't offer kudos if you know he coasted through with little effort. But it's not easy to refrain from telling your child how smart he is. We believe that by telling them they're smart, they'll believe they're smart, and if they believe they're smart, they'll attack their schoolwork with confidence. Poe Bronson, a father of two who wrote about the subject for New York Magazine, began to reevaluate his own parenting after learning of Dweck's startling research. I was frightened of this idea that telling a child they're smart makes them think that effort is uh, only for dummies. And if you're smart, you shouldn't have to rely on effort. It hasn't been easy, but Poe and his wife have changed their ways. I have found that I just need to be honest. Uh, being honest is, is going to serve us better in the long run. All righty. Parenting contributor Ann Flechette Murphy joins us now. And boy, people even here, <laughs> moms and dads what? in the studio yeah. go like, come on. The, first, tell us about the study. How'd they go about doing this? Well, I, what I loved about this, it is so elegantly simple. It is really boiled down to one line of difference. One group of kids, and she studied several hundred fifth graders, all socioeconomic classes, it really didn't matter. One group of kids, after taking a test, were told, wow, you did really well, you must be really smart. Same test, similar group of kids were told, wow, you did really well, you must have worked really hard. And the difference later, when they were offered other tests to do, the smart kids, no way. They did not want to take a chance that they would not do well and therefore be labeled dumb. The kids who had been told you worked really hard were motivated to try, even when the test was really difficult. They said, wow, this is my favorite test. So you're saying praising the effort. Yes. It's not saying don't ever praise your kids. But we have a tendency, I think sometimes because it makes us feel good, to label our kids. And avoiding labels is, in my opinion, the biggest takeaway of this study. Lab Okay, if you're a parent and you're watching this and you're like going, once again, I'm getting yeah. all this different right. kind of information, what should they take away? Because this is really eye-opening. Well, in addition to avoiding labels, because again, labels are very limiting. I mean, they really say to the kid, okay, so you're so smart, you shouldn't have to try. And if you do fail, it's a disaster. The other thing is talk to them about the brain. One of the things that the researchers found was if you explain that the brain is a muscle and you can actually improve with effort, this is really motivating, particularly for high schoolers. The last thing I think is, you know, lose the guilt. I think a lot of us praise because we're worried about our kids, you know, we think it inoculates them. But in fact, when you try to protect your kid from failure, I mean, not a disaster, but really a setback, because you then say, oh, well, you're really great, you'll do better next time. Mm -hmm. That's not a good message. Tell them, if you work hard, if you do X, Y, and Z, I know you can improve. That's a, good praise. As the gentleman in the, in the piece said, 
being, he's honest with his son. Yes, so important. First of all, kids can sniff out when you're not yeah, being genuine. Can. And it's really important to give them specific advice. And the message is, I know you can do it. Not, oh, you're so great, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and as a way of making them feel better. And get away from this addiction, because some parents do have this, this oh, addiction I, I, of I'm praising you, their this child. This has really changed the way I think about really? the feedback I give my kids. Even you. Yes, yes. Uh, even even okay. I have now started questioning. Absolutely. I think, you know, I have a tendency sometimes to just, mm -hmm. you know, tell my son, oh, you're so smart, you're so smart. And I can see that on the things that he really needs to put more mm. effort into, he's, he's a little reluctant to do that sometimes. It does make us think. Thanks for your honesty. Thanks. All right, Annie, thank you. And you can find out much more on this topic at our website at abcnews.com. And something tells me it's going to be a hot topic on the